This Week in Culture, we take a behind-the-scenes look of the Gibraltar collection Art Viewing. The paintings and sketches, part of a larger acquisition by government, will be on public display for the first time as from Monday. The event, an opportunity to learn about Gibraltar's artistic beginnings with the works of significant historical and cultural value. It's national heritage, it's, it's art coming home to me. Um, this, a lot of these works had never been seen by people in, in the public and now they can see the progression in, in an artist's career. So again, to mention Asaguri, we've got a wide range of his works from sketches, etchings, to even some watercolours. I personally had never seen a, an Asaguri watercolour before. Uh, some oils with very bright colours. He typically uses a very bleak palette and that's most of what we have on offer in the National Gallery, in the Mario Finster National Gallery, so that's quite interesting to see uh, as well and we've got some early works from artists such as Lenny which are also quite out of the norm to, to her typical works so there's quite interesting things to offer. The Gibraltar collection viewing is certain to be a special and amazing experience. I'm standing in front of one of the most notable works here, a painting by Jacobo Seguri. And what's certain is, if you come to check out uh, the display, you'll be able to learn a lot more about the man himself and just how prolific and diverse he was as an artist. He goes from the typical, so what we know of, of Hakova, which is the disproportionate body parts, so that the hands, which are the same size as the head, which is totally on purpose. And you realize that, especially when you contrast that to his works that are of uh, an academician level. We've got some studies of, of a bust in particular, which is absolutely beautiful technically. And then you contrast that to his work in, for example, Los Olvidados, which are working class people. You know, you see that you notice that the weather beaten faces, the big noses, the big hands. And I think that the fact that the same artists can do those two styles is absolutely amazing. And I think a lot of people enjoy seeing that. I suppose an interesting exercise as well in showing how much Gibraltar's landscape and surrounding areas have actually changed. Absolutely, there's one of uh, Hagova Saguri's works of Catalan Bay and you can actually see a walkway going down to, to the beach and we're trying to picture it in our minds thinking well where, where is this walkway and it's actually where the Caleta Hotel is now. It was painted in the early 60s and then obviously the hotel was built over that so I think that's very interesting. I was absolutely stunned to see it. Although a more thorough curation will be applied when the works are exhibited permanently, the cultural services team has given this display plenty of thought. We've done a basic overall in terms of we've got the doyens in, in one room, so we've got them in the gallery, we've got Asaguri, Mania, Bakarisas and Leni in the gallery, and then we've got the older paintings, so from the 19th century and the contemporary ones together in the lower exhibition. That room in particular has a very good contrast because you've got the very old works which were probably procured, you know, and there's probably a, a thousand stories behind those paintings. And then you've got the very prolific artists that we know now like Jane and, and Will and James Foote. So there's a very interesting pairing there. A chance to reconnect with Gibraltar's artistic past. You can view the Gibraltar collection at the John McIntosh Hall next week between 9.30 and 6pm every day.